Warship Wednesday, episode 11. The USS De Haven was a Fletcher class destroyer of the US Navy. Laid down at the Bath Ironworks on the 27th of September 1941, launched on the 28th of June 1942, and commissioned into the, into the US Navy on the 21st of September 1942. <clears throat> She had a displacement of 2,050 long tons, a length of 376 feet, a beam of 39 feet, and a draught of 17 feet. She was powered by two geared, geared steam turbines, driving her to, to, to a max of 38 knots. She also had a complement of, of 329 officers and enlisted men. She had an armament of five single 5-inch five or, uh, or, or 127mm guns, five twin 1.6-inch or 40mm anti-aircraft guns, seven single 20mm AA guns, and two quintuple 21 inch torpedo tubes, along with six single depth charge racks. The, the, the De Haven sailed from, from Norfolk, Virginia, uh, and reached. and reached. and reached Tonga Tapu. Sorry about that. Um, on the Tonga Islands on the 28th of November 1942. She, she began escorting a convoy of troop ships headed to Guadalcanal uh, to relieve the troops which had landed there in August. She screened, she screened the, tr the transports uh, off, uh, off, off Guadalcanal before heading to the Solomon Islands in order to stop the so-called Tokyo Express which was the act of trying to relieve the Japanese troops still fighting on, on the Solomon Islands. She also took part in two bombardments of Kolombangara during January 1943. On the 1st of February 1943, the De Haven screened LCTs and a seaplane sea tender, establishing a beachhead on, on Guadalcanal. While escorting to the two of these LCTs, she was warned of an impending air attack, and then she sighted nine unidentified planes on the horizon. Uh, luckily, she managed to shoot down three, but not before all of them were, were, were able to drop their deadly payload. She was hit by three bombs and damaged by a, by a very close near miss. One struck her forward superstructure and, and presumably killed all of her commanding officers. <clears throat> a few minutes later, she began to sink rapidly and sadly disappeared around two miles east of, of Savo Island. One of the LCTs she was escorting picked up the survivors. Sadly, out of her 329 sailors, 167 were killed and 38 were, were, were wounded. Luckily, though, her wreck was discovered by by Robert Ballard in 1992. Thank you for watching. Um, we have very nearly hit 100 subscribers, and if this video comes out at, at the point where we have hit 100 subscribers, I have n no other words to say except thank you so much. But, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and... Uh, and, and, and see you in episode 12. See ya.